So I just woke up from a nap, so ignore me looking kind of crazy, messy. I think I look okay for now. <laughs> Anyways, Saturdays are for story times. And this one is going to be for <laughs> to my second year roommate. So basically, when I moved into that apartment, she was already living there and we got along great. She was older than me. She already graduated from UCSD. And then hop along a couple months, couple months down the road. She got a boyfriend after having a crush on the dude for a long time. They met at a rave. And she invited him over last minute during finals week of at UCSD. I don't remember which quarter this was. Win oh, I think it was like winter quarter. She didn't tell me that he was sleeping over and that they were planning to stay up till 5 a.m. until 5 a.m. in the morning. And I had to write a final paper the next day and I also had to start for my finals. So I didn't bother him the whole night, which I probably should have said something, but you know, passive aggressive. I, don't know, I just felt like it would be awkward to call them out, especially when they were like that really lovey dovey, lovey dovey mood, you know? Because they literally just started dating. And I didn't have a problem with them, I just had an issue with her doing it during finals week. Like, she knew I had finals. Uh, so basically. The next day, after they left at like 12 p.m. because she had to go to her job, I had knocked out for the rest of the day and then I had to also send a text before knocking out to let her know like if next time if she won't do this because at finals, just try to not have him stay over and stay up all night. Because, oh, just proper respect and all that. The shared room. And then that's how it all started falling apart she somehow misconstrued or misunderstood it for some reason and thought that I was forbidding her boyfriend from coming over and then she literally just straight up ignored me for the next couple months until she moved out like straight up would not talk to me would not respond when I talked to her and she only started talking to me when she was like out of nowhere oh hey Christy I'm moving out and of course that didn't go well because she didn't give us like a 30 days notice which she was supposed to, out of respect for everyone else who is paying and is on the lease, or etc., or living. So of course that got into a huge situation, and this happened in. I think she tr she tried to dip out in around April, but which because we required a 30 days notice, it was pushed until moving out in May. And yeah, she just randomly moved out on one of those days when no one was home came back and none of her stuff was there but wait the mattress that wasn't hers was gone so <laughs> I went to go tell my housemates because that mattress that she was using was actually theirs I accidentally walked in on them doing it <laughs> but yeah and then because of that mattress was stolen the other housemate that was in the house also went to go check if any of his stuff got stolen and it turns out his ramen was missing as well like of all the things that was the only other thing that was missing besides the mattress Taiwanese Taiwanese instant ramen like and then long story short like she blocked everyone on Venmo on Facebook we couldn't contact her she wouldn't respond to Texas either I think she appreciate blocked everyone's number she didn't want to pay for the mattress and well, my housemate was like, whatever, he'll just gift her the instant noodles. But yeah, that's the story of how my roommate, ex-roommate, stole a mattress and instant ramen. 